Hey y'all, I'm Trent. And I'm Connor. And we're good old boys with ballistics. Well, we wrapped up our 1000 round view on the Taurus GX4 today. And boy, do we have some juicy stuff to tell We you. did do some torture testing, but that was- Very minute torture testing. That was testing. not in the thousand rounds. That was the separate bit we did after, which we did do that today as well. But we didn't want that to get in the way. Y'all just stay tuned and we'll, we'll get back with you. Y'all see what we uh, we have to say about it. Let's get this review over with. Oh, I hope it goes off right there. A dud. Yep. Mag of Hornady Critical Defense. Hornady, critical defense, hollow points. Let's see how it runs hollow. Okay, literally just gun is empty, I promise you. Dead trigger. Okay, watch. See, it reset that time. We'll do it without the mag. Okay. And another reset. But it didn't then. And guys, I know y'all may be seeing me hold the trigger back when I do that. But that's for the reset. And it ain't resetting. Let's see. And Trenton, you know just as well as I do, you should be able to hold the trigger back and it reset. Mm -hmm. Every gun we have... So, let us know what y'all think about that. Well, we're here wrapping up this review, and uh, we hadn't really put this gun through really any test. So, there's an ant bed. Wash it off. Let's go load up some more mags. All right, guys, we we'll come back a few hours later. Let's check it out. The barrel's good and clean. I think the gun's a little too clean. What do y'all think?
taking bets in the comments if it's gonna run. Let's see. Hmm. Mm-hmm. What's bad is there's not even any mud in there. Look where it just didn't pick it up. Mm-hmm. Still going in the mud. Good grit in there. Now let's put our first round that wooden chamber in there. All right, she put in there. Let's go ahead. Same thing that happened to me on a clean gun. It did it just before it did this. Primer's fine. It was just a dead trigger. Hear it click. Okay. Last round. The round was not dirty when it went in there either, so. Did it again. And this is factory loaded ammo, guys. There's, hold the mag. We got two rounds that didn't want to fire. Let you guys look in there. There's a All right guys, just cleaned it off. You can see it's all good and no dirt, no grit. So we got these last two rounds that didn't fire and then we're going to try another mag through it just like this. So. There's one. Let's try this one. All right, next mag. Gun is still clean. If it can't run just wet, I don't know what to say. The ejection pattern kind of yeah it started was a sucking. Off. Uh, I don't know. We'll have a thoughts video at the end of this. So drop what you think is going to be in the comments. Just wanted to show y'all that this gun it still has grease on it from the factory. No grit. Even the rails are clean. I mean, it's it's dirty from being shot, yes. But from what everything, we did not clean this inside. This is still just how it was. I mean, this is. It's messing up with just this. That's uh. Well, we'll talk about it later. Okay, now getting into it. <laughs> I'll tell you my opinion. This gun. Is a piece of trash. We didn't think that when we first got it to start. But well, I did. But you didn't. <laughs> we had our doubts. I mean, okay, we wanted to give the gun a fair shot. And, and we did. I thought, I even thought, I went back and I wish we would have recorded that first mishap. Because we didn't have it on video. And I kept second guessing myself, like, 
and everybody maybe it was me everybody else also kind of did which wasn't cool but i mean you we had high expectations for the gun and that we're thinking you know first few rounds through the gun it should it couldn't have a mess up well we were wrong and i'll say it messed up from the beginning to literally the, the very first two mag the the second magazine through the gun is what y'all saw on the first mm -hmm. introduction of this gun and that was the mishap y'all seen of the slide not going in the battery and i'll tell you at <clears throat> 500 rounds i was still having issues and then me and connor both shot there's no telling honestly there's no telling how many rounds we put through this we it's we have put a pile of them it's probably close to 14 1500 and uh give or take just a few rounds we gave the gun an honest chance we really did and i tried to like it i really did because i still think this is taurus's best gun hmm, i do too but, but like i said we didn't we didn't treat the gun hard the trigger is a piece of junk, and it wasn't, honestly. It was very nice to start. It really was. But the more was we shot, trigger, the worse it got. The worse it got, and it wouldn't even reset, or as you've seen in the uh, <clears throat> the videos that we, we've had of it. And we have a specific video just about that. Yeah, and... A clip, I should say. Because, I mean, this this gun, I I still think it looks good. It feels good. Points good. And so I, there's so many good things I can say about this gun, and everybody loves it. Everybody who I've talked to who has one <laughs> loves it. There's been like two people tell me that they didn't like it. But I think I speak for both of us when I say this now. We gave the gun a very fair shot, even after... The first mess up on literally the second magazine, the twelfth round through the gun, and it steady, steady had problems from there. Now we we did have breaks in between where we would go two hundred rounds and not have an issue, but it seems like the last how many rounds did you say from what point to now seven seven fifty somewhere around there mm. that was when we we should have marked in our book that was when we started having the majority of issues really reveal themselves but i mean i don't even know i wanted to like the gun i really did it's a it's a cheaper option and it's easy to consider <clears throat> for people to get into carry you know we want people to exercise their second amendment rights always carry your gun on you and I mean, I know folks will look at this video and be like, well, "Just a that bunch was of hillbillies that don't know what they're doing." Our user error and all that, but you know, I wasn't. I you can believe what you want to believe. This is what we've gone through, and we've we have been shooting guns since we were three or before, since we could hold the gun. <laughs> but, I mean, no, we. I know a little bit of what I'm talking about, a little bit, and that's literally like. I don't know if maybe I do a little bit more, but I literally all I do is I research all this. I read forums. I read reviews. I watch testing videos. I watch a lot of ammo reviews, gun reviews, and I watch them for all from all reputable people, like instructors, uh, a lot of good people, and they're all on YouTube. Y'all can go check them out for yourself. It's not just. And he's had a lot of training me. himself too. I have. I mean, it's. And uh, I, I know. I know. I know what I'm talking about. No, he knows what he's talking about, and I'm watching what he does, and he's doing no different than I would. So, any one of these mess ups could have happened. You will see mess ups from the gun on each one of us in this video. It seemed to favor him more. I don't know why. Because it hates. Me. It's nothing he's doing. I mean, there's there's one clip. Uh, you may say he was limp resting when the first dead sugar popped up. I promise you he was not. I'm sitting there watching with my own two eyes. He is not. He just fired 10 rounds fine through it. 
and the last round of the mag watch remember the last round you'll see and uh we put we ejected the round i got the gun he got the camera i put it excuse me i put it in there it shot fine the gun never hit the primer and that goes back to the uh trigger not resetting and it being a dead trigger exactly and that's the problem that, that we came in times. and times. the reliability of this gun has really just plummeted it, really it, uh from each hundred yeah. rounds it seems like it's gone down and now the trigger the is, trigger has gotten it the trigger probably stock was about four to five pounds probably five pounds yeah right? it was and it, it's nice. now probably right at 10 pounds like it's hard and we we cleaned the gun yes we just to make sure because we did this did really it really got bad after the the mud test the mud and the water and we took this gun apart and we cleaned it and uh old it greased it every everything like it it should have no reason to have any problems and it's just as worse now as it ever has been and probably if we shot it right now getting worse steady so you you have your thoughts what you want uh, and i mean most people most people who go out there and buy firearms like this and who loves this firearm or just this price range they're not going to go out there and shoot 1500 no, rounds no no right well off the bat. Unless you're just... If they're going through training and all like they should be, you you take a bunch of classes, you will then. The but it's not Joe, all within this short amount of time. Yeah, and the average person's not <clears throat> going to go... Because the people who I know who buy this firearm, they're buying it because they're... You know, they all have families. Their budget is not that well but and we're not doubting on y'all if y'all can't afford something expensive i don't like paying a bunch of money for a gun myself i will take the cheapest i can get well, i mean honestly like i like good quality but i don't want to overpay for it and there's nothing wrong with a gun in this price range for the money nothing at all for the money like i it's a good gun you're looking at four after, to four to five hundred dollars right yeah there. Well, somewhere depending on your area it, it really depends on the area i've seen them as low as 300 and i've seen them as high as 500 so and we'll uh, say three to three to five is a good medium range you pay a few dollars more and get something like a glock that has a name behind it that and you a know and a reputation that that they live up to but think about i don't mean to interrupt you no you're fine but think about this to jump up to the next level, Glock's a couple hundred dollars more. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I well, remember remember well, I mean, our 43Xs and our 43s, and they were they were under five. We'll you tax can, an all five something. But. You can find them. Hey, a police trade-in. Police trade-ins, you can normally get south of $400. And granted, they may be Glock 17 or G22, but... It, there's nothing wrong with either of those. I mean, that's they're good guns. They're they're awesome guns, actually. They're, but we just don't. I don't. I know I'm the one that said there's nothing wrong with the gun in this price range, and there's not. B believe me, no doubt. You do what you got to do. And that's and I'll tell I you, I live by that. Like we just put fifteen hundred rounds through a gun in less than less than a month. Yeah, a month. So. I mean, you're not going to go out there unless you are in training, like he said. And if you're in training and all, I'm pretty sure your instructor is going to lean you towards something else. It, well, most, this is my thinking, you tell me your thoughts on this. Mm -hmm. Good training from a good instructor is, it's not, it's not cheap. Well, it depends on your budget. Cheap for people is a different cheap. Cheap for me is like, under a hundred dollars cheaper a wealthier person a well-off person maybe a grand i don't know whatever your budget is hey no problem with that but a good good training averaging per class about two to three hundred dollars a class all day eight hour class so they're gonna look at that and say 
are you sure this is what you want to do? You want to do all of these drills, learn all of this with this little bitty gun. And some people, my very first class, I took my 43X and I dominated the class. And the instructor got on to me for wanting such a small gun. Well, I was better with my smaller gun. So it's all what you're what you're used to. And if you take your time and you get training and then you practice your training at either a range or if you have land at your house or home family to go shoot at safely, um do that. I mean there's that's what you gotta do. Put the time in, know your firearm, and test your firearm. That's all we're doing here. And I just, I want to try to help somebody, you know, because everybody who I've talked to pretty much has loved this gun. It seems like we're the only ones that... But everybody I've talked to hadn't put that many 1,500 rounds. rounds in it. And honestly, like, we would, we cleaned it and stuff between the, the rounds, you know, we... We gave it a fighting chance. We really did. We cleaned it after every range session. Yep. Well, we go about once a week, roughly. Yeah, we would only shoot about once a week, honestly. That's why it took a month. But um, we we did give the gun a fair chance. We really did. I know y'all didn't see all of it, and y'all may think, well, they might have gave it a fair chance in their eyes. No, we, we shot good ammunition through the gun. We cleaned the gun after every range session. We greased the gun, we oiled the gun. Uh, gun stayed in the case when it was not in use. All the reliability torture tests came after the thousand rounds was done. And we just kind of wanted to have a little fun with it, so. But I mean, my opinion on this gun, don't buy it. To add on to his part about don't buy it, if four hundred dollars is your budget, I would take this all day over a high point. Nothing wrong with that at all. I ain't gonna shame you because I would myself buy this over a high point any day of the week. Everybody's budget just ain't as high as some people's, and there's nothing wrong with that. My budget's not as high. I don't buy guns that often. I well, I did last year, but money's money's tight right now for I think everybody. So, don't feel bad at all if your budget's, say, 500 under. You can get a good gun for under $500 yeah. or $500. I mean, even go to a, a pawn, pawn shop. shop and get a police trade-in Glock or a uh, good Smith & Weston. The, the Shield Plus is nice, and it's not $500. The point, the point I'm trying to make is you can get a good gun, a good reliable name-brand gun, for the price of this gun or just a little bit more so we're not trying to shame anybody by owning this gun this is just our experience i've got friends who own this gun and they love it they have great great everything good to say about it but they also hadn't put that many rounds through it i mean heck i was crazy about this gun like, we had high hopes for this gun. i went I went nuts when this thing came out. We were both very... I think he was a little bit more excited than I was. I kind of... Well, I was, I was excited for Taurus. I really was. Because, honestly, I still think this is their best gun. Oh, I agree. Very much so. so very much so. I mean... They're they're going in the right direction. They're just... I don't think they're quite there yet. They... They... In my personal opinion, they can't compete with Glock by any... Or Smith & Wesson, or... CZ, yeah. uh, let's see, what's the other? They can't compete with any of the reputable name guns in my book. Not to hurt Taurus, they're going in the right direction. I mean, I carried a G2C as a bag gun for a while. But, you know what? You never had this kind of problems out of it either. That's true. And that, that, gun, that gun did have a lot of rounds put through it. And parts were never replaced, and it still never messed up. So this may not be may not be well, but i think looks wise looks wise mm, this mm. is the best comfortability for me yeah because i mean trigger, this is easier to trigger was good yeah was, start now was but anyway you know we this is just our opinion and uh 
we appreciate y'all for watching very much so um y'all check us out on social media we got a facebook we got an instagram of course youtube uh at good old boys ballistics and y'all be sure to share our videos share our posts on facebook and instagram with your friends like and comment drop us a comment on the videos uh we really appreciate hearing from y'all we love reading y'all's comments and I, i'm not trying to you know hurt anybody's feelings or anything over my opinion of this gun that's just no, what it is no our opinion but that opinion is based on what has happened to us over well, 1500 rounds let me say this too this will go along with what you're saying this is also a sample size of one. So, yep. we we might have got a lemon. Who knows? Yeah. Because everybody else seems to be having good luck. And I'm sure on on the tube, there is some people that have put 1,500 rounds and probably over. And they may have had great results. This is just... It may just be a dud gun. So, not I'm not knocking Taurus, but I never said if I would buy it. Would you buy it? I would personally try to save up and get a Glock. I was about to say, you want to buy it? <laughs> mm -hmm. I would personally save up and, I mean, I'll if I was, oh, I bet you. <laughs> if I was in a bind, it would do me better than nothing, yes. And I would have no problem buying it. Because it is better than a lot of guns I've handled. If I had to have something right then and this was all I had to get, I'd be okay. I wouldn't. Like I said, I'd much rather have this than several guns. But if I, I wasn't in the need for one right then, I would be saving up to get something a little bit better. My opinion. You may disagree. That's fine. That's just my opinion. So. But anyway, like we said a while ago, y'all just check us out on social media. Like, comment, share with your friends. Hit the bell for the notifications. Yes. Get updates on all our new videos dropping. And don't forget to subscribe. Please and thank you. Appreciate y'all.